Hello there, guys. Mm. And welcome. It is another beautiful Thursday. Oh, it is. It is indeed. And what do we normally do on Thursdays? Oh, the Roswell Recap! Roswell Isabel and Noah mm -hmm. together again, which means Wait. sexuality. I mean, it took him like minus 10 seconds and he was like, okay, I'm into it. Yeah, <laughs> which was what we said. He yeah. just needed the explanation. He did. he did. Yeah. Yeah, he just needed a second to like hear all the facts yep. for her to be forthright, he did. He did. for her to tell the truth. Yep. Finally, and he's like, I got you, babe. You got tentacles. I'm into that. I mean, he didn't say that, but he did ask if like, they could like melt into each other's skin or something. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's into Yeah, clearly. Show him your tentacles, girl. Yeah, yeah. Show him. So we had a lot of everybody now knows everyone's an alien and we're just okay with that. Right, like rewind episode one. Oh my God, how dare you tell Liz? We're going to go yeah. threaten her. We're going to like oh go to God. her house yeah, and throw, throw a knife. knife at her. Yeah. Threaten her life because, oh my God, you told Liz. But now just like, oh yeah, Kyle knows and oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Alex knows. Sheila Bond Bond knows. Yeah. Everybody knows and it's, it's cool. It's fine. It's, it's a big okay. deal. What? It's fine. The government knows. No big deal. And like there was, I mean, other than, okay, yes, there was a reaction in Michael's face when Alex said that of like, uh oh. But then also, like, that's it? Yeah, then they just kind of were like, it was almost more like a joke. Like, the way that Michael reacted to that is like a, oh crap, really? Yeah. Like, it was more funny than like an actual, yeah. like, yeah. So, kind of weird that Michael's initial reaction wasn't like, Isabel, Max, we got a problem. The government. Yeah. They're just like, we got more pressing things to worry about. Yeah. Like recovering lost memories. I, that was just, it's a little questionable, writers. Uh, these are more questions on our list that we have that's growing quite astronomically. Yeah, we're enjoying the show. We are. It's fun. It is it's fun. fun. We're enjoying it for what it is. Yep. But yep. there do be some issues. And yep. that's okay. Every show has issues. So, if everyone's cool with it, like, we're cool with it, in yeah. terms of knowing everyone's an alien. Yeah, like, except okay. for getting Maria on this, please. <sighs> Seriously. Not fair to Maria. Seriously. And what a goddess this episode. <sighs> yes, because... Well, like, I mean, every episode. Exactly what we said like, last week was the second she realizes that Michael was Museum Boy, which is exactly mm -hmm. what happened. Because mm -hmm. she's done. Oh, she cut that shit off. Reading. Which, she already said that... You know, last week, this is not happening again, whatever. Yes, yes. But she cut that shit off, and I think she's a little irritated with Michael. She is hurt by it, I think. Yeah. Because I think, like, she she, she liked him in a, in a way, like, that was fun. It's a fun. And, you know, it's a fun bang or whatever. Sure. And, like, he's cute. And, like, we have fun in terms of, like, like the friend thing. You know, like, we have fun. I think she was genuinely, like, hurt by that. Because I think they were building this friendship, and then to find out that... He was this guy that like hurt one of her best friends, Alex, um, has, you know, bit, been in love with or, you know, had this connection to for so many years and to like, and she knows that Michael knows this. And so, yeah, like I think right, she should know that he would, that he would sleep with Alex's friend. Yes. Is a shitty thing to do. Yeah. And I agree. Yeah. But it seems at least, you know. Alex seems to be like okay with it in terms of yeah, like he was hurt by it and like you but could not tell with Maria. no exactly yeah it was hard for him to have that conversation but it also showed how much their friendship means to him that he would go to her and basically tell her right you like, know you know this was like a high school thing it'd be like oh my god how do you sleep with my man oh yeah. hell no yeah. or like he wouldn't say anything 
anything. Like, or that. hide it, you yeah. know, and like, then it'd be under Yeah, but somehow. that's the thing but. that's nice, is that for the most part, everything's out in the open, except for the secrets, and then things that you think are secrets aren't secrets. Like, the yeah. fact that they, that like, Max and everybody knows about the little covert... Sheila, Bon Bon, Kyle, Alex, little government thing. Yeah. They know, so they all know about each other. It, it, we were talking. It seems like a lot of stuff happens off screen. Yes. A lot of scenes that, like, we just, like, hear about. Or maybe we don't even hear about. It's just like, oh, apparently they're okay with that situation. So, I guess somehow they worked that out within this past week that I wasn't watching. Right. Like, Michael, or Michael. Like, um, Max, when he, like, left the hospital after being shot. Like, he was just like, oh, yeah, I left, you know, I left. But it's like, how did you leave the hospital? Like, yes. there's, I don't know if it's just that they're like, either we don't know how to get them out of the situation, so we're just not going to show it and let your mind figure it out. Or, you know, there's like, there's lots of different things that they'll bring something up. Like, yeah. oh yeah, such and such said that. Yeah. When? Yeah. When did that happen? It's just weird. That's so, weird. yeah. But yeah. at the same time, so much is happening. Yeah. So much we happens. Are, we're moving forward. So, yeah, it's just, like, little things like that. Well, big thing is Isabel got out the pod, the egg, yes. a.k.a. the pod. Yes. And um, she had her memory, like, she could remember Max and everybody. She remembered the situation. Man, like, right after she got out of that pod, Liz had that little thing that was like, Hit-da! Yeah, like, stabbed her. And I'm like, shouldn't that be, like, a trained medical professional? <laughs> Seriously. Like, she's just a biologist, like... Oh, she'd be stabbing. She did. She got her, like, right, right there. It was like a touchy-touchy. Oh, she did. She, like, rubbed. Ooh. It was like a little rub, pat, pat, it's pat. It's like a little mini touchy-touchy. <laughs> a little baby touchy-touchy. It's about could be into that. I mean, clearly she um, was. Spe- yeah. Like, can we... Uh, we kind of talked about this, not on this, but in the car. Last week, we were talking about, like, some bisexual representation. Yeah, that's super cool. Which like, is amazing, because you never see it. Right. Like, because we were talking about how, like, how much we love... The relationship between Alex and Michael, that it's not just, oh, we're gay, huh? Like, they're just people that yes. happen to be gay. Yes. Um, but of course, now we're really figuring out Michael's bisexual, which yep. is great. But as much as we have not so great gay representation, we have so little bisexual representation, um, both in media and even just like in general, there's such a like, I don't know, like nobody really talks about bisexuality. Right. It's like a very like, I guess because like people area. don't understand it. Maybe? They don't. They they don't think know. you're either actually gay or lesbian and you're just pretending, you're saying bisexual is like a cover. So you can be like, oh no, I'm not totally gay. Um, or it's like, because you think it's cool. Like there's all kinds of like different reasons, but really like the straight community doesn't like it. The gay community, a lot of them don't like it. It's just like this weird thing that doesn't yeah. really fit anywhere because everyone thinks that you're trying to like, you're greedy or you're trying to like have everything or yeah. whatever. But so anyway, it's really cool. Whatever. It's really cool to have that representation. Yeah. And that's really sweet. And I like yes. that. Well, and just that interaction between Michael and Isabel and how he it was like, hey, welcome to the team. Yeah. Team so, bisexual. Exactly. It's probably <laughs> it was really like, cute. probably one of my favorite scenes so far, actually, just because like, I really like the writing of it. Like, in general, and I just love their relationship there, because we yeah. haven't really seen a lot. Well, even the same with her and Max. Like, when she first, like, got out of the pod, mm-hmm. and, like, they were at his house, I mm-hmm. think it was, and they just had, like, this really yeah. cute, like, sister brother moment, because it was, like, when Liz left, and she was like, Ooh, yeah, 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 you know? And, like, they're, like, throwing pillows at each other, and, like, that's her being more open. Yeah, and, that, and that's what's really cool, is, like, by going through this process and stuff, like, and for, for coming out, coming clean with all of this, you can tell all of them are feeling better. And maybe that is why they're just like, fuck it, we don't even care anymore, you know? Yeah. Because um, they just feel better about it now. And, you know, like, for example, like with Max, like rushing in and like trying to help people, Liz is like, he's always trying to do that. And Sheila's like, he never used to do that. But it's like, now he is. Like, there's this change in all of them yeah. um, in some way. Um, and probably from feeling that acceptance from the people that they thought would, yes. you know, torture them and or they experiment feel like on they them don't or have to hide as much anymore, mm-hmm. which could be even more scary now because now it's like, I feel like they're going to be more relaxed and more not on guard. Mm-hmm. And so that's when things could get really, True. really bad. Well, and I would say too, as much as I'm like, yeah, Sheila Bon Bon, you're like totally on this groove now but between her saying he didn't he didn't used to do that and then the whole like oh yeah liz was so worried about you like 
I don't know. I just get the whole she's gonna like resent Liz. Like you can already tell she's like oh, she yeah. thinks Liz is bad for Max. Yes. Like thinks yes. that she's the reason that he's like going into danger. Yes. And then that she's the reason that the two of them did never worked out mm-hmm. but because of Liz. And so I'm a little worried that she's either gonna like double agent or just mm-hmm. do something to kind of sabotage. And I hate that. Liz and Max. I like you, Sheila. I do. I like Sheila Bond. She looks really cute. I don't know. Or maybe she's just hurt. You know, I don't know. I want to trust her, but I, I have a little suspicion. Yeah. No, I got it. I got it too. I felt it. Too. Sheila Bon Bon, why? No, Sheila. She's so cute in this episode too. She was. Sheila, come on, girl. Stay do with this. the team. That's right. Stay with the team. You're in the team now. Yes. You're in the team, and Maria's not even in the team. I know. Still, ugh. Ugh, writers, come on. Which was really cool, like, with. Maria, like, really actually showing, like, she has an ability, right? Yeah. Like, totally tapped into her intuition, like, mm-hmm. and I, because, like, at first when we see, like, this, like, card thing, it's like, oh, like, she's just, like, at card tricks or whatever, it's, like, parlor tricks, but, like, no, genuinely, like, she was reading Alex, and, like, that's how this conversation even got started with them. True. So, I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to, like, keep playing on that mm-hmm. with her. Like, is that something that's going to grow into something more, or, like, what is that going to be? I don't know. I hope so. Like, yeah, I would cool. love, you know, maybe she's the fourth in the band, but she doesn't know it. Ooh. No, she's not. I don't oh. think so. Although, um, they said, the guy said that the person, whoever the alien is, who, who we assume is the alien, is not white. Mm, true. That's what that guy said. They were like, racist. well, that means What's not white. What's his name? White. Racist. What was it? McGee. I don't know. McGee. I don't know. I can't remember. That was pretty awesome, too. Like, with her just, like, throwing water in his face and be like, lawyers. Yeah. yeah. You all deal with them. Queen. Going back to Isabel, she came out of the pod, has her memories back, and she has some other memories. Yes, indeed. Whose memories are these? Are they hers? Don't seem to be. They do not seem to be at all. Seem to be one, a man. Uh huh. Because at the end there, she was like, oh, like a man. Yeah. Whatever. But then she also made it sound like she could change shape. Uh huh. So I can be kind of whoever you want me to be. So maybe not a man. Could be shape shifter. Could be a. Non-binary. It doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But some sort of entity, and then that's kind of why she is so mean to Rosa. Mm-hmm. And why not? Because she is literally, it's not Isabel. It's not even mm-hmm. a second side of Isabel. It's not yeah. Isabel. It is not. Well, we're s- assuming this at this point. Yes. We're saying yes. that we think that this is possible. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing it with these uh, little racist trashy boys. Yeah. That it ain't them. They're mm-hmm. they're terrible. But right. they're not shooting up hospitals. Yeah. And they're not, no. you know, killing innocent uh, podcast guys. Podcast guy. I'm so sad about podcast guy. I miss him. What a guy. What a little guy. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, but and so we have figured out from her journey, journeys mm-hmm. of journey to the past, to the past. You know we had to get a song uh, in there. Uh, oh, it's oh, good. It's fine. Little bubbles be popping. Um, yeah, we found out from this little journey that she's been taking. She's in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she has a yeah. She has a little vision. Which is the exact vision that I said she was going to have at the end of the episode. Yeah, she did call it. We were like she sitting there watching it, and I was like, the episode's going to end with her seeing the murder. Yep. And we saw it. Guys. She's saying. psychic. She's psychic like Maria. Oh, the wind's blowing. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, so we find out that, yeah, it is like... It's like a being that's in her because it's even like telling Rosa like this is not my body like this is just a body like Mm -hmm. I can be whatever you want like you were saying and like you know I'm technically like masculine or whatever and like really wanted Rosa and I was like hey man I killed these chicks for you 
Like it's cool. You don't have to worry about that little backpack that you're searching for. Like I got you, girl. I'm gonna take care yeah, of you. You don't have to leave. We can stay here forever. Yeah. And Reza's like, hell no. You crazy? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. And then kills the bitch. Not nice. <sighs> so and then and so I'm curious from like her visions. Like, is she just gonna think like that was her, or is she gonna actually think like something someone else? Well, she, in that scene with Michael, she was saying how, like, I had these feelings. Yes, yes. So, I think that she will believe that it's herself. Okay. Because Mm -hmm. it's so immersive. Yes. But, I sort of, maybe it's going to be people trying to convince her, like, listen, I don't think this is you. Right. Like, this is happening to other people. Well, and that's the thing. We ended this with Liz now being the one saying, I don't think this was your sister. Yeah. Like, this could, this may very well be someone else, and it could have been someone else controlling your sister, like they've been doing these other people. So that's a big freaking step for her. Yeah. I wish that had happened, like, and then let Max and Liz got together. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That would make more sense. You're literally going to exonerate Isabel, like, one episode later, you could have just, like, yeah, Switch yeah, that would have definitely made the flow make a little bit more sense. And and in terms of like getting Liz on the team, yeah, like it's it's fine. I'm glad she's on the team and stuff. But like that to me would have like been what would yeah really have gotten her on the team. I mean, Max so and Michael still like covered it up in a really terrible way. Yes. but okay. yes, but it's we fine. can't worry about that. You know what? It's cool. It happened. It is Here, what it is, Santa. Cool. It's cool. Like, it's fine. They're aliens. It's cool. It's not a big deal. I guess. (laughs) That's the world we're in right now. It is. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, I guess just to kind of go back, we had a school shooting. Or, school shooting. I'm so used to saying. This isn't real life. I know. I was going to say, I'm so used to saying school shooting because we have those all the time, which is terrible. Thanks, Obama. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a shooting at a hospital, which they're, they were doing, obviously, they got the stem cell grants that Liz is being a part of and everything, and so they had protests outside, so they thought that this is what the shooter was doing, was, like, shooting up the place or whatever. Right. But they only were focusing on the room that Liz was in. Mm-hmm. An experiment. And they got, and she couldn't find the antidote anywhere, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she very much felt targeted yes. and yes. whatnot, which then aided with her thinking, this is something bigger yes. than what we were thinking before. This is something different. Yeah, I would be a little freaked out uh, yeah. right now. Like, I feel like that was I'd be like, um, I'm not going to work anymore. <laughs> and I feel like Max should be, like, way more protective. Like, oh, hell, like, you are not staying here. He like, needs to go, like, straight Edward Cullen right now. Yeah, because it's that serious. Yeah, because, and there's nothing she, you know, she's there's not a predator an out there. Yeah, that clearly has it out, at the very least, for her research. But then could say, it's in her brain! Exactly, that's the thing. It's like, it's all up here. Like, she can easily recreate create that so she's a target oh way to go guys yeah so. protect her she's human mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with all your alienness yeah but her finest guy girl person yeah whoever this orf orf whatever the name was orpheus orf- or, yeah or, or, i don't I can't remember the name Ophiuchus? Ophiuchus. Something like, it was like a Greek or kind of name, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oedipus. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, so, and that's what he called himself. So, maybe we should look into that name, like, what that's from, like, what story, and, because it could be, like, this alien, like, shows that, like, it was probably something he read and connected with it and shows mm-hmm. that name, so. Well, oh. it's something that, it's the fraudulent Zodiac that didn't belong. Yes. So if it's a fourth alien, you've got the three that are like a group, and they're on the outside, ah. then they're going to feel like they don't belong. Ooh. And Zodiac, because it's about the stars, and they're in space. That was a connection right there. You all heard it. Third eye. <laughs> Maria. Maria. Um, so we had some Alex. Yeah. You want to talk about oh, that? Yeah, it was very sweet. Very um, sweet. You know, Michael saying, if someone's going to take me down, it should be you. Like, ugh, stab me right in the heart. Yeah. But obviously, 
the thing that was, it was good, but it was sad, it was all this stuff, was, you know, Michael talking about putting together this spaceship, basically, to go back yes. home. And Alex kind of realizing, you want to leave here. Yep. Yep. And that freaked him out. And obviously because he has a piece. Mm-hmm. And so maybe in his brain he's thinking, this could be the last piece, like, he could be leaving. Yeah. So I'm like, is he going to keep it? And then it's going to be a thing that Michael's going to be, he's going to find out. And Michael's mm-hmm. going to say, oh my god. Why? Why did you give that to me? Like this could make me go oh, home. And then they could have this cute moment where I was like, I didn't like it. Could be, or they blow up and like, I mean, it could it could be a sweet moment where he says, I don't want you to leave, and then yeah. maybe, I don't know. Like it's just so twisty, especially with Michael going to see Maria at the end. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just don't know how to think about it. I think Michael is like confused, and I sure. think he's just. He's looking for a little sympathy, but he's been kind of shitty, so yeah. no one really wants to give him any sympathy. Because I think Alex is, even though he's kind of like, I don't think he's necessarily mad at Michael, but I think he's hurt by Michael with the whole Maria thing. So I don't by think he's, specifically, like, going with Maria? Like, like sleeping with her. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like Maria. Like, if it was any other person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just because yeah. it's Maria. I was going to say, because, like... Yeah, I don't think he would care if he slept with someone. I think yeah. he's just like, really? Like, you're going for my best friend? Right. Like, that's really right. shitty. Which it is. But I don't think he's just going mad at him. Yeah. I think he's just kind of hurt. Like, it'd have to be her. Yeah. But, I mean, he's obviously, you know, you wanted to talk to Maria about it. Let her know. Like, hey, I know. You did those things. It's cool. I'm not mad at you. Yeah. But that kind of made it feel like he is at least irritated with Michael. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah. I mean... It's it's progress. They're talking. They're they learning are. about mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. Clearly, Alex does not want Michael to leave. Yes. He, even if he's mad at him, yes. he still has feelings and mm-hmm. wants him to stay. So, I feel good. I feel good about it. Oh, good. Because yeah. last week it was... Much better than last week. Yeah, I mean, last week point. did give us Cosmic. It did. Which yeah. is great. We, we got some confessionals. We did. We got some... The well, end of last episode was great. But oh, I was just so upset by everything else. I almost... Like, I had to, like, watch it again to then be like, okay, this is... It's good. It's fine. <laughs> but that first... Because we literally watch it and then do this, it just... Yeah. Sometimes... Raw. Yeah. Little, I was just raw. too upset. Yeah. Too upset. But anyway, yeah, I'm... I'm feeling good. Good. Okay. Good. And now it's time for Roswell's very own Babe Watch. This week on Babe Watch, we have a new inductee with Sheila Bon Bon. She's never made this list before, but she has earned it. She first came in this week with this jacket that I want in my closet. It was so awesome. Her eyeliner was on point. She was just looking so cute in every scene she was in. And although she was so vulnerable and hurt because of Max, I just have one thing to say to you, Sheila Bon Bon. Liz might have stolen Max's heart, but this week, you stole mine. Hey, watch. Well, we have Kyle Valenti doing some investigations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looking into some things with his daddy o Yes. He's like, Mother, tell me. And she's like, he was cheating on me with a little hussy. And he's like, nah, that's my sister. Don't talk about her like that. That was actually someone else, bitch. That's right. Like, no, he wasn't cheating on you with a child. He was cheating on you with an adult. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's so much better. Like, that's kind of like what he said. It, it is true. Like, yeah. <laughs> but. God love. Anyway, but yeah. So we get some messages. We didn't see the whole message. We just saw, yes. I love you. Yes. Which, very sweet. Yeah. But then obviously there's something to do with this prison. Call, Cla- call, Clawfield or? Ca- call, Caulfield, I think. Caulfield. Something like that. Yeah, a prison. So, something like that. Some prison that's been shut down. Mm-hmm. But we didn't get yeah. the whole message. We just heard that little stuff. That's another thing. We didn't see that scene. They nope. didn't show us. Nope. Which I think that's um, on purpose yes. of omitting information. Sure. Because sure. they want to have us be like, oh, what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. Not just... Hmm, I don't know how to get us out of that, so we just won't show it. And the thing is, like, <laughs> Kyle's been really secretive and holding back information True. from a lot of Because he people. still never told Liz. No. That we know of. Next episode, they're going to be like, yeah. oh, hey, yeah, Rosa, our half-sister. Oh, yeah, you told me six episodes ago. We just don't know the full message. We don't know if this is a scene we're never going to get. <laughs> Her explanation of Hopefully what he found. Tell us. 
Yeah. yeah. I'd like to know exactly what his yeah. dad thought was so important to yeah. Malay. What did he tell Magoo? Yes. Oh, oh, Magoo. So oh. weird. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Yeah. So, I mean, it was it was a fun episode. Like, I was, I was into it. Like, yeah. I was enjoying it and whatnot. I had some, like, we were talking some cute sibling interactions mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. you know, of course, got some little kissy kissy again yes. for Max and Lou. Ooh. I was I'm okay with. Ooh. 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 Yeah. And Noah and Isabel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting back mm-hmm. together. As we called it. Yeah. As we called That's it. It's all good. Backstreet yeah. Boys know what's up. Yeah. Yes, be. But we want to talk about something crazy. It's what happened after the episode. Mm. And they gave us a good 20 seconds of next week's episode. Yeah. Yeah, what? Looks I like, literally was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's like an alternate universe of some was sort. It crazy. Like, yeah. everything happening, I'm like, I literally, which all the promos have been very short yeah. and very confusing. Yeah. But this one especially is just, I know who these characters are, but at the same time, I feel like I don't. You got Liz running down the street in, in like a this dress. Like, like yeah, a it's all elegant. White dress, and Maria's on a table. Yes. Is she gonna experiment at all? And yeah, Michael's in there. He'd be experimenting on Maria. What's happening? Well, at least tell her that you guys are aliens first. Please, God. Right. Come on. I feel like by this episode, if she doesn't know. Seriously. Like, come on, girl. Like, your intuition is severely blocked right now with these right. people. Right. So hopefully she knows. But yeah, and then like Isabel has a gun. Yeah, so I guess maybe that alien guy's like getting pissed off and is like, y'all need to stop. Stop investigating me. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. And stop all the shenanigans. And possesses her again or something. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think 100% she's going to get possessed. I mean, there's... Yeah. She would, one... Well, even... Why would he pull a gun, though? Because he is an alien. He's got powers. Well, like, why would you need a gun? I'm just saying. Like, you can literally touch someone and kill them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But it's more dramatic, I guess. Yeah. Okay, CW. Listen. <laughs> listen. I don't know. We don't know. It just looked really crazy. Yeah. And so I'm really interested. Exactly. I'm it. ready for next it week. It did its job. It did. In terms of... We're not next of, week. Because we're off next week. Oh, we are off next week. Oh, that's hard. Oh, my God. They did that on purpose. They made it super they crazy. Did. Just they so we'd be did. like... Oh, Raza. Yeah. Raza. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. Because we will be having an episode next week. We're continuing on the Umbrella Academy train. And we're going to talk about the characters mm. of the season and just kind of what happened to them over the first season of Umbrella Academy. So, no Roswell next week, but uh, we'll still be here yeah. and we'll be talking about some fun stuff because Umbrella Academy was just... Yeah, definitely check out Umbrella Academy if you haven't watched it. Yes. And then come check out our recaps. We already got a couple and we've got some more coming at you. Yeah. And what's really exciting is we're going to be recapping the Twilight Zone. Yes. That's our next endeavor. I'm terrified. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm also excited. I'm mostly terrified. It's going to be fun. Mm-mm. So, guys, thank you so much for watching yes. us. Hope you enjoyed. It's always a joy. Always mm. a pleasure. Always. And if you like watching us and listening to us and just being goofy with us, mm-hmm. you should totally like this video. Yes. Subscribe. So you can watch us every week. Yes. Every Thursday. Oh, oh my god. Do you want that? Yes. Do you want to watch us every Please. Thursday? Please. Comment. Let us know what you think. Yes. Yes. Find us on Twitter. I do like your guys' comment comments. Us. When you guys comment and we can like, you know, talk back and forth. Yeah. Kind of, especially like you guys who watch the old show. Yeah. We get a lot of really good comments going on. So yeah, I appreciate that. Comment. Yeah. We love it. We love the interaction. We see you. We hear you. We are here. Yes. And I think that's it for another episode of Roswell Recap. The Roswell Recap. Uh, uh, it's oh, Roswell. Week. The Roswell Recap. Oh, Roswell Recap. Oh, Roswell. Oh, Roswell. Hey there, sci fi fans. Ooh, hello. You know what you need to do? You need to click subscribe to our channel. That way you can catch us every Thursday for what? The Roswell Recap. Roswell Recap!
We are going to dive into some of our favorite sci-fi television shows oh. and movies. What? And some that we've never seen before. Oh, Lord. You know that you guys can actually tweet us at Cafe Crashdown and let us know some of your favorite TV shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down. Mm -hmm. And after we watch them, we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one. So recommend at your own risk. Mm. We will be live tweeting on Tuesdays. Yes. When we're watching Roswell, New Mexico on the CW. Yep. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait, what did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Oh, oh it's the Roswell Recap! See you Thursday. Woo!